Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, I will show you the second iteration of my 3D printer design. I have been working on this for quite a while now and I have made some big changes. Um, it is still a Core XY 3D printer, but compared to the first design, it looks almost completely different. Um, stay tuned and I will show you everything I have done. So this is the second design um, compared to the first one. It's almost completely different. Um, I've made a lot of changes. Um, if you don't know what to compare it with, like if you haven't seen the first design, you can either click the link in the description or you can click the link in the right top, top right. Should I, I should say, should say, sorry guys. Um, you can click that link, um, you can watch that video and then come back to this video and you can compare the two and you can see that this one looks 10 times better. Um, so if you've watched the video or you've seen the video before, um, you can see that the frame for instance looks really different. Um, the first thing I can say about the frame is, well, the size. Um, it's a bit longer than the first one. Um, that's due to the fact that I've made this compartment right here to house all the electronics. All the electronics will be put behind, or I should say underneath this top cover. Um, this is should resemble a power supply. Um, I did not put a lot of effort in it because, uh, yeah, well, I don't need it designed, but the space will be big enough to house all the electronics. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, I've put in the power button and, and a screen, which will be touch screen. Um, I've put some fans on the side, on this side and on this side. Uh, one will be an inlet and the other one will be an outlet and that will probably be enough to cool this compartment. I will also put like a fan on top of the, the control board to like active, actively cool the, the, the control board and uh, the well most importantly the stepper drivers which will be quite hot i think um, the second major change is well also part of the frame but um it's more the 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 size of the aluminium extrusion that i will be using um in the first design I made use of 20 by 20 millimeter aluminium v-slot extrusion and with this design I decided to go with 40 by 40 millimeters aluminium extrusion and the aluminium extrusion is also like closed on some sides which makes it well look a lot nicer than four sides open um, so the yeah it the overall design looks better um another major change is well you can see it here on the x and y axis and also on the z axis um it's called linear rails and i will probably buy them from this company company is called Highwin. Um, maybe some of you will know it. It's really famous and they make really really high quality stuff. Um, their linear rails and bearings and all that kind of stuff is from really high quality. Um, it's also quite expensive but if you compare it to like a, a China knockoff then yeah well with this one i will be sure that the quality is well high because the the quality checks are 
I think a lot better than than the the standard uh, AliExpress or Banggood ones. So yeah, that's one thing I won't be worrying about. I hope. Um, as you can see, the, the design is not finished yet. I still have to design some brackets for the pulleys right here. And also I need to finish the brackets for the pulleys in the corners, which are actually this one. Um, as you can see, it, yeah, it's not finished yet. There are no pulleys right here. And well, this is not correct because if I put the, the screw in or the bolt in right here, then well, it's not flush with the with the surface, so this should be like well made flat from here to like here, so that I have like a a face to put the the, the bolt or the or the screw. Um, here you can see the the aluminum extrusion that I will be using. Um, I can show you the sketch. This is the sketch. It looks really complicated. Um, this is actually really common. I can buy it for well pretty cheap from from the internet, not from AliExpress or Banggood because they don't sell this one there, but just from a machining shop in Germany or in the Netherlands where I live. Um, I can close this one and this one. Um, there's also a on off switch in the back where I can put in the power uh, cable. Um, I'm also thinking about putting an emergency stop somewhere. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but I can always add it on the side or on the front, I'm not sure. Um, for the Z-axis, I have one um, stepper motor. I'm just going to try and see if one stepper motor is enough to drive the Z-axis. Um, I think it will be enough, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to build it and then yeah, we'll see if it's not enough. I can add another one on this side or I can buy a bigger one. This is NEMA 17. I can always buy NEMA 23 and see if that works. Uh, another thing I have to do is design the bracket that holds the heated bed with the well with with these guide rails. Um, I have to attach these carriages to the heated bed. I'm not sure I'm, how I'm going to do that. Maybe I will just bend a piece of um, aluminium or steel and just attach it here and underneath the bed or I will directly attach these two together I'm not sure how I'm going to do that but I still have to think about it um, well um, yeah I've also added some feet um, so the whole structure will be a bit more stiff and less vibrations um, in this well in this design it's still like um, well how do you call it like one piece but I will probably buy like a um, feet that have like a ball joint so the, the the bottom piece can like swivel around the 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 bolt so that you can put it on like 
uh, surfaces that are not level. Um, so still using the E3D Titan Extruder and the E3D Physics Hot End. Um, I actually have this at my home right now. I ordered it and I've already received it. Um, one other thing I have received is these motors and also the um, the screen and also the power supply. Um, all the other parts I still have to order. Um, I will probably do that like this week or coming week. Um, well, speaking of the electronics then, the, the frame and all the other hardware I will not buy yet because I will probably change some things. But, um, well, most of the electronics I will be using are, well, I've made a decision about that. So I will just buy them and well, see if I need to buy something else after that. Um, yeah, I hope uh, I hope you like this design. Um, please let me know in the comments what you think of this. And I will probably make another video in the coming one or two weeks. Maybe sooner, maybe later. I'm not sure yet if I have time. Um, so as I said, please let me know in the comments what you think of this design. Uh, if you have any remarks or if you say like, oh, you should have done like this or like this, please let me know. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, so you can stay tuned, so you can stay uh, updated about my uh, design process. And later on, I will also build this, of course. So. Please stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.